In today's uh, lecture, I will be talking about our antibody class switching. And as you know that the lymphocytes originate from bone marrow and when they get matured, they patrol the body and they leave the circulation within a very short time where they concentrate in the cortical area of the lymph node or of the spleen. Here, this is the cortical area of the lymph node. They, they, they enter the lymph node through the heaves, high endothelial venules, and it stays there for uh, around 12 hours. Uh, in order to encounter uh, any pathogen. And the follicular dendritic cells, they trap the antigens and they present it to B lymphocytes. And the B lymphocytes interact with the T lymphocytes or, or uh, as the border between the cortical and the paracortical uh, area of the lymph node and these lymphocytes, these B lymphocytes, they arrange themselves into B cell follicles and when they get activated due to the interaction with T cells, they form what is so called the germinal center. The germinal center, it has dark zone and the light zones. So uh, B lymphocytes, they differentiate intensely here in this uh, dark zone and this will lead to clonal expansion and also another process will take uh, place. Uh, it is known as somatic uh, hyper uh, mutation and the class switch also it occurs within uh, this uh, area. Some enzymes, for example, uh, activation induced uh, cytidine deaminase will help in the process of mutation I may be to some extent in the process of the class switch and actually this eight or activation induced cytidine deaminase enzyme will change the C G base pair to U T base pair and this U will be recognized as a T. And this is uh, actually very important for the class switch. And as you know that the messenger RNA, uh, it has the, the capacity, uh, it, this is a messenger RNA, it has the capacity to fold and this lead to formation of hair hair pin loop hair pin hair pin loop hair pin loop and this ut will allow this to occur as it uh, contains uh, two hydrogen uh, molecules however the dna it contains three hydrogen molecules and this will make the binding is uh, more strong. So, as I mentioned that, the messenger RNA has a capacity to make folds into three structures. Uh, and an enzyme 
known as TDT terminal deoxynucleotide transferase. This uh, uh, actually uh, enzyme together with uh, RAG1 reactivation or recombination activation gene 1 and RAG2 recombination activation gene 2 will act on this hair pin loop and reactivation or recombination activation gene number 1 and 2 they, they cleave of a single they cleave this single strand of the hair bean loop and this uh, occurs when a uh, single uh, strand of a single RNA uh, falls it makes a false and this uh, will lead to formation of uh, uh, base pairs with another section of the same strand actually this is a uh, single strand it is not but it appears as if it is uh, two uh, strands so rag one and rag two they cleave this area they chop it out and see so this will move out and the same rag one and rag two will add uh, uh, p nucleotides to this area and now this is uh, following re removal of the hairpin with the RAG1 and RAG2. So there is a gap. This gap, RAG1 and RAG2, they add uh, B nucleotides to this area. Then an enzyme known as uh, terminal uh, deoxy uh, nucleotide transferase will add N uh, nucleotides. Then this is uh, followed by the DNA uh, machinery repairing enzymes. They repair this area. And so these two parts of the RNA will anneal together and they form a single strand. This actually will help us to uh, understand the class switch. And as you know that, the antibody it has uh, two identical heavy chains and two identical light chains so the heavy chains in the heavy chain we have here this is the variable region and we have the constant uh, region and we have uh, isotype uh, determinants isotype means the antibody class they have five isotypes IgM, IgG, IgE, IgA and IgD is uh, bound or membrane bound to be uh, lymphocyte. Uh, so change from uh, IgM to IgE this it is known as a class switch or change in isotypes and in order to understand this process we are going to uh, explain the genetic uh, of the antibody and as you know the light chain it is uh, encoded by VG segment uh, it, it could be kaba or uh, lambda uh, whereas the uh, heavy chain it is encoded by V D G and this V D G they encode the variable region of the uh, heavy chain and as you know that uh, V they are for example V1 V2 up to V any number D also a V variable gene segment and D stands for diversity uh, gene segment and uh, here this is D up to any number and G it stands for joining uh, segment of the 
variable it is also uh, up to any uh, number so and uh, v1 for example may uh, bind to d1 and j1 and this v1 d1 j1 they will form uh, the variable region of the antibody and this will increase the antibody diversity and why we need to increase the antibody diversity uh, simply if uh, the genes that encode antibodies